Good morning, everyone. Happy third Sunday of November. Um, all month long, we've been learning about contentment, and that is learning to be okay with what you have. And um, our Bible verse for the month has been Luke 12, 15. Then he said to them, watch out, be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15. And today's lesson comes from Exodus 16 and 17. It's all about how the Israelites are longing for Egypt. Um, the bottom line from this lesson for us to learn is to not miss out on what we have now. Don't spend so much time worrying about what's next that we miss out on the blessings that we have right now. Let's um, see what the guys have to say on the so-and-so show. I'll see you all back here next week. Trade and paint! No, you. No! <laughs> no! No! Oh! Hey, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the So-and-So Show. <laughs> yep. Welcome. Yeah, to the show. It's not a lot going on today. No. <laughs> no, just, just Brandon and I doing our normal shtick. <laughs> hey, but just to be... Just to be sure, let's check out the cue board. Oh, yes! The yes, cue board! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah! Oh, uh, it's just our normal shtick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, you remember back when we used to do fun things on the show? Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You mean like when we, our friend Leonard would come by and we'd stick our faces, <laughs> stick our faces <laughs> in, in the mud! mud. In All the right, mud! Yeah. Go! <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah. No, but I, I meant even further back, like when everything was new and different. Oh, like you mean back when we first met? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man, things sure were better. They were. Back then. Ooh, dream sequence. Oh. I'm John. I'm Brandon. And welcome, welcome to, to the So-and-So so Show. John, we should do something different and new today. Well, how can we? For all of my best ideas to work, we have to be old enough to drive a car. Or we have to be taller. Or we have to have more life experience, you know. Yeah, I wish we were older. The show would be way better that way. Yeah. You know something? Maybe we could spice things up and invite a guest on the show. Well, who would want to be on a show in my basement? I found this kid on the way over, and he wants to. He's just outside. Really? What's his name? I don't remember. Okay, what does he want to talk about? I don't know. Stuff. He knows stuff. Okay, please welcome someone who knows stuff. ba da da, -da. Um, so, tell us what you know and who you are. My name is Leonard Fortescue, but my mom calls me Leo. Great. It's nice to meet you, Leo. What do you know? Do you play any sports or anything? No, not really. Unless you consider running away from Mr. Mooneyham's dog a sport. That dog hates me. Uh, so what, what's that you have with you? Oh, this? It's a metal detector. 
I just got it for my birthday. What's it do? It detects metal. How about that? Haven't found the treasure yet, but I did find old Uncle Hubert's false teeth. Well, I guess that's good. No, not really. If you consider that he was still wearing them. Okay. Thanks for coming on the show today, Leo. No problem, though. Ask me back any time. Come on, mail detector. You ought to have a better name than that. Hmm. Camilla. Yeah. Come on, Camilla. Well, that was something new. And it was definitely different. <laughs> yeah. I wish we were older. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the days. Yeah. Yeah. Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey Kellen. Hey Kellen. Not, Not much. much. Wow. Why are you guys so down in the dumps? Yeah, you know, just kind of bored. Yeah, same old, same old. What are you talking about? What you guys do is so fun and exciting. Doesn't, Doesn't seem, seem that, that way. way. You know, I got a story about some people who were complaining about where they were and wished they were someplace else. And I think you need to hear it. Sounds good. Fine. <laughs> of course, I'll need the so-and-so show players to help me out. Perfect. Take it away, Kellen. <laughs> Now, the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt for hundreds of years. But God, through Moses, led them out of slavery into freedom. Woo! We're free! <laughs> we're masters of our own house! That's right! No more cooking and cleaning no more! We're free! Free! <laughs> Why? You're not going to cook and clean no more? No. We're free! <laughs> we're free! They may have been free from slavery in Egypt, but it didn't take long for the Israelites to be chained up by something else, discontent. We have to get out of this desert. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm starting to think Egypt wasn't so bad. We may have been enslaved, but at least we had food. That's right. We might not have been able to go where we wanted to go or say what we wanted to say. Wear what we wanted to wear. We're 100% owned by somebody and forced to build big old buildings. But, but at, at least, least we, we had food. food. The people complained to the man who had led them to freedom, Moses. And Moses took their complaints to God. God. I'm sure you know this, but everybody's hungry. They're afraid they're going to starve here in the desert. Tell them I will rain down bread from heaven, but only gather as much as you need. Really? You're going to make it rain bread? That's, that's pretty cool. I will send them bread in the mornings, but when the sun goes down, I will send meat. What? You're going to send bread and meat? <laughs> That's crazy. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. Yeah. Oh, you got that right. <laughs> so Moses told the people everything God said. So at night, he's going to send meat. And in the mornings, he'll send bread. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that when I see it. <laughs> yeah, like meat. It's just going to fall out of the sky. <laughs> I'm not really a poultry fan. A great flock of quail landed where they had camped, and every Israelite ate their fill. Then the next morning, there was a heavy dew, but when the dew dried, it left. What's that? What's what? That on the ground there. What is that? <laughs> no idea. That's called manna. It's the bread I told you God would send. What? <laughs> really? 
It can't send any multigrain down, can it? To be clear, the bread, called manna, did not look like full loaves of sliced bread. But still, God sent them fresh manna every single morning. And yet, though God continued to provide for them, the Israelites still complained to Moses, this time about not having enough water to drink. <laughs> I, I, oh, oh, I hate to bother you again, but these people are going to kill me if they don't get some water. Take the people to Mount Horeb and hit the giant rock there with your staff. Water will come out of it. What? You're going to make water come out of a rock? <laughs> I can't wait to see this. <laughs> so Moses took all the people and gathered them at Mount Horeb by the huge rock. What? You're going to make water come out of that rock? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <gasps> Hallelujah. You can't make another flavour, can you? Yeah, this one has too much of a water flavour. <laughs> Enjoy. What? It's a little chalky. You don't have any of that glacier stuff, do you? That stuff is so tasty. They had it in Egypt. The end. Let's give it up for the so-and-so show players. God continued to show his people he would look after them and provide for them, even though they continued to doubt him and long for the past. That, that's crazy they, they, that they would look back to how things were in the past instead of enjoying how awesome things are right now. Uh, uh. Haven't we been doing that? Touché. Mm. Mm. It's true. Sometimes it's hard to be content with what's happening in the present. We're either looking backwards to the way things used to be, or we're looking forward to the way we wish things would be. When we do that, we miss out on what God is doing for us in the here and now. Mm. Oh. And I think the here and now is, is, is pretty great, actually. Thank you, Kellen. You betcha. Yeah, see you around, Kellen. You know... You and I do get to do some awesome things. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes we focus on what's not going right instead of everything that is. Well, then let's focus on the good stuff right now. Yeah, and you can join us. Okay, reveal the question. Uh, what is good in your life yeah. right now? Uh, I, I would say my friendships are going pretty well right now. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I was going to say the same thing. Oh, no I, kidding. Also, I'm pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Um, I know God loves me no matter what. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and my banjo lessons are going well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you the other day. It actually sounds like a banjo now. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? What's good in your life right now? Yeah. You know, I'm glad we're older, John. Yeah, me too. We can drive. Yeah, and we're taller. And I can leave my dirty socks on the floor anytime I want. Yeah. <laughs> right now is good. Agreed. Hey, thanks for watching the so-and-so show, everybody. We'll keep getting older. Bye. <laughs> Come on, Camilla. Let's find us some priceless treasure. I do believe this is the first bowling ball ever made. It was actually made out of a giant jawbreaker. Oh, ow. Yep, it would have been a terrible piece of candy. A key? I bet this is the key to the old Reese house. Opens up all the long lost peanut butter cups. Hey, it's a silver dollar. You know, I think those two brothers who live over on Almond Street collect these. 